Welcome back from the break. You're still watching The Morning Rush here on Metro Television. My name is Desmond Okrekudan, so call me Desifredi in the star. I'm here with Nanaya Tanobach. It's time for us to talk. And uh, our guest, she's been here before, and uh, we are going to be talking something different that, you know, when she came. And yeah, Rotarian Nana Drakunedu Jani is the Deputy Director, Medical and Scientific Research Center of the University of Ghana Medical Center, and also the President and Founder of Thyroid Ghana Foundation. We're talking about the uh, Ghana Health Awards and honors. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you yeah. doing? I'm good. Yourself? Yeah, so. I'm okay. I'm she's okay. also the founder and executive for the award. Yeah. She's, she's, she's a big, big woman. Yeah. She's a big, <laughs> not one, a big, big woman. woman. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyway, um, let's just do that. You watching the games? Yeah, a bit. Okay. A bit. Mm -hmm. Not full. Not full. Okay. Because of because mm -hmm. of the kind of work some of, of us yeah. do, yeah. mostly, yeah, away from your television. I, I, I but a little it. you watch, are you impressed? Oh yeah, yeah. The one I watched was the Ghana. The one. Ghana game. Yeah, I'm a, a, a patriot, um, patriotic citizen. Patriotic citizen. That's, so that's fine. In 2010, where were you when you go in South I Africa? I was in Ghana. Well, I didn't never. even watch that no, much. Watch <laughs> it's good you didn't watch that much. <laughs> <laughs> because my heart would have been broken. <laughs> anyway, so let's let's talk about the Ghana Health Awards and Honors. Um, this is coming up, uh, this is kind of new. Yeah. Just uh, give us the idea behind it. Yeah. Okay, so um, the Thyroid Ghana Foundation mm. has been working closely with health professionals. And we believe that there are a lot of um, talk about this health person as in this health professional is not doing this, but there are some who are really doing so well. Mm. So we believe that those who are doing well, if we motivate them and honor them, those who may not be doing well, we'll look at them and then, so it's, it will be like, if you can't, you, you can't beat them, join you them, join right? Them. So if you realize that your colleague is being honored on a, a, a national stage or international stage, mm -hmm. you will definitely have to also change your ways yeah. so that tomorrow it could be your turn. Mm -hmm. So the Ghana Health Awards and Honors is basically to honor health professionals, health institutions, um, insurance companies who are living up to their game, and also um, the companies that have their corporate social responsibilities in health mm -hmm. okay. and practicing actually it because some people just write it but they don't yeah. practice it so basically is to bring those who are doing so well to light the lamplight for okay. people to see because we have some nurses some doctors who are working in some remote areas mm. where they even have to at times carry the patient at their back True. to the hospital some of them they have to pay help them pay their yeah. bills and all that such people deserve to be so honored. To re yes. Honored and recognized. And yeah. yes, so this is the very first edition? This is the very first edition oh. that we're going to host next year. Yeah. How's, that? How's the preparation going? Is it difficult? Okay, yesterday was the media launch mm. and it was awesome mm -hmm. because um, all, all the stakeholders that we invited were present. Okay. We had it at the University of Ghana Medical Center. The CEO of EGMC, Dr. Darius, was the chairperson. Mm. So... I went to discuss the idea with him. He was like, this is long overdue, so let's go ahead with it. Mm. And we launched it. So it was good. A lot of people attended, and then the media came. And that's mm. what we, we yes. are. And we are sending proposals out okay. to especially companies who say they are corporate social responsibilities mm -hmm. in health. In yeah. health. Okay. Because if it's in health, mostly you ha they put a budget there yeah. for what do they use it for? It, most of them are not really using it. Using it. it. Put I like it that. in. Let's I like use that. it to like recognize and yeah. motivate our health professionals yeah. because our theme for this year is our health, our, our heroes. heroes. Mm. Yeah. Because, I mean, all of us, our most vulnerable moment yeah. is when we are sick. Yes, yeah, so true. Yes. True. So if you are sick and a health practitioner who is also a human being too, who may also not be feeling well, but will still get up, and because I to need to go and save life. Yeah. Yeah. We need to motivate yeah. such a person. But, but how will the, um, the selection mm. of the health service personnel be picked? Is okay. it normally for other award shows, there's this whole process of nominations and then there's voting? Definitely there will yeah. be nominations. Okay. So the Ghana Health Awards and Anis have a board. Okay. Okay. We have a board comprises of people within the health sector. Mm -hmm 
people within the health institute accredit who are doing the accreditation, accreditation. of health yeah. institutions. Okay. We have people in health research, mm -hmm. and we have the general public mm -hmm. who are making up of the yeah. board because you need someone in the general public to also look at it from their perspective, perspective. because mm -hmm. it's not only those in health who enjoy health mm -hmm. facilities. Yeah. So that's what the board comprises of. And we have a clergy also among the board. You know, as so far, they don't lie, right? <laughs> so most, that, that's yeah. supposed to be, isn't it? So there's the board. So your work output, if mm -hmm. you had to nominate yourself, mm -hmm. you have to put your full name, your institution, the number of years you've worked, what yeah. who your profession is. There's a form. So at the website, you go to the, the, the if you want to nominate someone, mm -hmm. let's say if I want to nominate you, yeah. I go fill in your details, um, upload your picture, put your organization because the board will make a visit to your institution okay. to find out, find out. Okay. I what you somebody has nominated yeah, you, you what is your performance. Yeah. It's not just because you've been nominated just, then we are just yeah. no. We are not looking at beauty. Mm -hmm. We are looking at work. Work. The work. Yeah. Let your work speak, speak for, for you. Itself. So we're going to do that. We're going to send mystery clients mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. And let's see how you treat them. The health service person, I hope you are listening. <laughs> I, I like this. Uh, let's, mystery yeah. clients. Yes. And let's see how you treat them if you've been nominated. Mm. And then we send someone who would post to be, sometimes we say that some patients are difficult, right? Yeah. Who could post to be mm -hmm. difficult? And let's see if you really have what it takes to attend to such a person. Because yeah. mostly when we are sick, we become desperate. Yeah. So let's say we'll send a desperate mystery client mm -hmm. to you. And let's see how you would really yeah. uh, see to the person. Yeah. It won't be once. Mm -hmm. Because maybe that day you may also not be in your good element. Yes. So it will not be once. Yeah. And this one it's is going to be difficult. Yes, yes, that's why we're going to start from now mm -hmm. till end of first quarter of the year to do the awards itself okay. so the nominations are open from now okay. so you can go to the website and then you nominate yourself or you nominate someone you upload okay so i was coming to touch on can i nominate myself oh yes you mm -hmm. can nominate okay. yourself yeah. if you know that you deserve it yeah. and you know one is nominating you can nominate sure. yourself okay. and then we have the institutions who also you nominate. if you want to nominate your institution yeah. or the institution head wants to nominate it if they think they are living mm -hmm. up to whatever it does okay they should then the board will set mm -hmm. then would see what what so the board's decision and your work output and everything mm -hmm. takes up 70 percent okay. of the total of whatever that will find out about you mm -hmm. then voting takes 30 percent okay so the voting we we cause um the proceeds of the awards is going in to help people living with thyroid diseases. Okay. okay. Because now the thyroid condition is becoming increasingly alarming. Yeah. And most people who are affected by it, because of the nature of care mm -hmm. is expensive, yeah. they are not able to afford and okay. sometimes they don't even go to the clinic. So it's supposed to come in so that we can also support people okay. who are in need. Mm -hmm. So the voting also costs you one vote for one city, one city and then at the end of the day would be able to also save more lives yeah but let's go a little bit about the categories yeah. okay so we are going to do hospital of the year yes okay so we're going to do so the categories we have two outstanding awards mm -hmm. okay. the two outstanding we have um the outstanding healthcare practitioner mm -hmm. it could be anybody it could be a nurse it could be a doctor anybody okay and then outstanding health researcher you know we have health research yeah. if we do more we encourage people to do research we'll be able to come out with more innovative idea in our care mm -hmm. right to improve our lives yeah. so out there health research is it's really really thriving mm -hmm. so we are going we are encouraging health research yeah. so we are also going to have an outstanding so those are the two main outstanding then we have the healthcare administration awards which we have best CEO, best hospital administrator, those in administration. Okay. So it's not only going to be those in clinic, in clinic, yeah. okay. no. Those in administration is also okay. going to That's be. a lot. Yes, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And, and then after that. Before you continue, private hospitals and private public and hospitals public. together. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Yes. It's a lot of work. Yes. But you guys are up for it. Oh, yes. We are ready. You're ready for it. We are ready yeah. for it. We are ready for it. Then after the administration bit, mm -hmm. then we go to the 
healthcare professional. That's where we have the nurses, the doctors in various specialties. Mm -hmm. So best surgeon, best emergency mm -hmm. um, uh, physician. We have um, dentists, pediatrician, gynecologist, gynecologist. Uh, all those uh, areas. Lab, lab scientists. Yes, mm -hmm. lab scientists. Mm -hmm. Yes, radiographer. Mm -hmm. All wow. those areas are also. Then after that, we come to the facility categories. Best pharmacy of the year, okay. best pharmaceutical company. We have best laboratory um, facility. Mm -hmm. We have a, a best dental facility, private and public. So we're doing both private and public. Okay. Private and public because we have public institutions and private mm -hmm. healthcare institutions. So each category in private also have the same thing in public. Okay, so in total, how many categories are you looking at? So in total, we're looking at 72. 72 categories? Mm -hmm. On one night? Yes. That's, that, that probably will be getting into the records book. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, 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 the longest list yes. of uh, categories for because the Because the health... Mm -hmm. But the health institution is very sector yeah, is very it's broad. A very broad one. Yes, okay. and we need to make sure that we cover. Even with this, it's not all the specialties that are covered. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, when we we want to cover the sub specialties, it will be more than that. So we are covering the broader ones for now. Okay. Then later we can look at the sub specialties. Like like we mentioned earlier, there's going to be a whole lot of work for yourself and your yes. team to yeah. put together. Mm -hmm. And when are you looking at? for uh, the awards the so we are looking at end of march mm -hmm. 2023 yes 2023 okay. so from now till then that is when the work have started so mm -hmm. the nominations were open yesterday mm -hmm. you go to um www.akuma akuma um production mm -hmm. gh dot org okay then okay. you can go there and, and nominate, nominate yourself okay. or nominate your institution or mm -hmm. nominate somebody and so then you do the sorting. And then you, yes. So the board, the board and the team have a lot of work to do. Yeah. So it's Akuma Dash H Productions. No. Oh. No. Aku yes. So it's it's in, for the website. Mm -hmm. No. The the company is Akuma Dash H Production, okay. but the website is www.akumaproductiongh.com. Okay. 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 So if anyone is watching and will still like to nominate people, they can just go and just, yeah, yes, just go and start yeah. because the form is open, it's uploaded, you just go, you upload, you talk about the person, mm -hmm. the person's achievements. So you should have a reason to for nominate. nominating nominate somebody. Maybe you think the person is selfless, whatever the person has done, mm -hmm. and the number of years the person has served in the health sector. And then what institutions, some of the institutions the person had worked with. Okay. Like, for instance, I had worked all, most of my working life in health. Mm -hmm. So I've worked in College of Health Sciences. I've worked at um, uh, Department of Hematology. I've worked now at the University of Ghana Medical Center. So you have to state, state some of, of these. All of those things. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How so are that you? we are able mm. to go and do references. Okay. When okay. this person was here, this person says he was here, mm. what was... We, we need to find yeah. out exactly. How are you going to make sure that this is not going to be an Accra thing and across the country you could have everybody uh, getting involved? Okay, so we are co-opting members in all the regions mm -hmm. to, be, to be part of the board. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's all the areas are covered. So that's why we have open nomination. So nominate anyone. And we are going to do a media tour, okay. not only in Accra. Accra. Okay. So from now ongoing we are, i have a lot of shadows <laughs> for the media talk okay. i'll be in kumasi i'll be in sunyani i'll be in um Ho. I'll, so oh. we'll, i'll do those yes. media talks so that people in all those regions mm -hmm. will know and be able to vote and nominate someone and then we're going to also have some um, stakeholder discussions kind of forums mm -hmm. to also talk about it in the various regions mm -hmm. That's great. So uh, we've been talking about the Ghana Health Awards and Honours that is uh, going to happen somewhere in March next year. And as you mentioned yesterday, the nominations were open. So you can, if you're a health professional, you know anybody in the health sector, you think that person is worthy of recognition, you can just get on to www.akumaproductions.com and nominate that person. Give reasons why you are nominating that person. And hopefully that person could be nominated at somewhere in March next year. An award can be given to the person, and of course, it's 70 
30 uh, with the board um, you know, uh, votes and also actual voting, which will be one Ghana city per vote. So the Ghana Health Awards and honors. We wish you the very best on that particular one. Anything you finally want to add, and then we, we wrap it up. So I would like to tell all the health practitioners that mm -hmm. let's, it's our calling. Mm -hmm. I see the work that I do as a calling. Because it's in the Bible, they say that some were called to be pastors, some preachers. Ours mm. is to save lives. So it's nobody forced you to, to take that profession, yeah. right? Like what you're doing now, it's what you find joy in. That is what you're doing. True. So let's find joy in whatever that we are doing. It's our joy to save. It's my joy that I'm attending to a patient and I see the patient get well. Mm -hmm. So let's make sure that that is our calling and we'll be able to just get these awards and all that because now when with the health um awards and honors most of the institutions that we we spoke they were like oh it's long overdue i mean people need to be recognized maybe people are not behaving right because they are not they feel like even when i put in all my all nothing, it, nothing, nothing will, exactly yeah, so now we are coming up to raise you for yeah. the whole world to see that you are living up to your calling and we are asking institutions and corporate organizations that will come to for support to please support us because it's not just going to be for fun whatever that comes out of it is also going to take care of other patients who need health care yeah and, and at the time that the health sector has been the topic of discussion for the past two days <laughs> What happened in Mexico and all of that? You this, know. Yeah, so we need to thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much for having me. We do me. appreciate you and uh, wish you well with the um, Thyroid Foundation. Thank you. Also. Yeah. yeah, so the foundation too is doing well. Okay, so Rotarian Nanajwa Kunedi Jan is the Deputy Director of a Medical and Scientific Research Center at the University of Ghana Medical Center and also the Founder President of Thyroid Ghana Foundation and the CEO of the Ghana Health Awards and Honor. So this is where we draw the curtains on the very, very first day of December, December. edition of the Morning Rush.